evenly, old for old. Summoner for Summoner, Gorilla now in the mid lane, and Prey all by himself. Uh-oh, Flash and uh, Kadam. Oh my, that was a terrible combo from Spenu, and they are going to die oh, as a result yeah. of it. Holy cow, that misplay was immense. You say holy cow, I say mortal cow, because the cow yeah, goes Prey. down and Prey <laughs> <It's> like, is laughing. <laughs> it's like, what are they doing right now? They definitely do. Well, the blue steel will come through in any event. We're all already here, and they're going to go on to catch immediately. There's the last breath. Catch forces the flash already, but the equalizer quickly going to finish that one off. Sasen will be forced to flash. Game behind and KO even. Shapes really well for Ku in these mid-game fights. All right, but they are going to be grouping. Here's the TP coming in from Rumble. Arrow already in flight. Well, who's it going to hit? It is going to just nail Secret. And there's the Equalizer. What a huge combo coming in. Yasuo already dead, though. Can Spab help turn this around? Gorilla going to jump to him. Here comes Hojin, forces Nuclear out. There's a flash from Hojin. Nice condemn. But guess what? Spab still on the backside. Bray joins up in the mid lane after walking from the bottom river. Soul just slowly marching to death underneath the turret. Triple kill for Hojin as Gorilla cleans up the ace. Make any difference. Oh, we're gonna keep getting aggressive. Secret doesn't quite have the ultimate. The Unbreakable will about five seconds away. Yep, they're gonna go in though. There's Catch, gets destroyed. Another kill for Hojin. Now they're trying to follow it up. But Kuro still chunking through that front line. Gorilla is going to fall, but Secret, no more ultimate. We'll just get poked with a shiv and be the next casualty. Soul very low. Lucky. He's really lucky that the concussive blow stacks oh. dropped off, but he's going to re-engage and die. Yeah, the volley was there from the angle. Laning phase and in a team fight. Speaking of team fights, big engage by Secret here. They find the 4v5. Now there's the Glacial Fisher going down. Kuro exhausted, but he's going to wait. Drops the last breath and kills Sasa nearly immediately. Kuro just ripping through the enemy team. Double kill for him already. Triple kill. Soul getting low. He will be finished off by Prey, and Secret gets out. Any semblance of burst, the damage is so the teleport's coming in, and there's the arrow. And they're just gonna stun lock Sasin and destroy him. Nuclear eats a crit, has to run away. Catch found out in the front line. Easy inhibitor from the Ku Tigers. In this game in particular. I think just take it, it's safe right now. There's Gorilla with the disengage, they try and get onto Prey immediately. There's the exhaust onto Prey, knocked away by Gragas, but there he's going to fall to the Maokai. But here's the Equalizer once again, and it is just burning down Spenu Sonic Boom. They're still pursuing catch. Sasin gets on the end of a Yasuo sword, and now this may be the end of all things here as the flash for the triple kill comes through from Smeb, who is always there. Yeah, and catch. Okay. Oh, they're gonna fight this. They actually uh, take down the Yasuo, so instead of just going for the Nexus, they give a double kill to Soul. Well, not the best idea there. That out right away. Hojin coming in here, lock and pop to mitigate some of the damage coming out of the Baron. Here comes Secret. He's chunked down nearly immediately. He's almost dead already, even through his ultimate. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. And there we go. Sasa just going to get kicked out, comboed immediately. Has to use the Divine Intervention on himself, but that makes Soul very weak in the front line. And now Prey just cleaning up, piling through the entire composition. That's going to be an ace, and I don't think you need this. But what? what, what? Oh. The minions are very <laughs> confused with the inhibitor respawn. They don't know where to go, Monte Cristo. What was that? They were just sitting there twitching next to the Nexus. Inhibitor respawn, but Smeb just with a quick TP down to that side. Prey waltzes through the mid lane turret. Finally, Smeb stops the minion bug out. <laughs> nice assist from him. There, to just help out those minions. And that is going to be the Nexus falling in game one. The style Zonias from Smeb. going to be able to do much. And oh. there's the flash pull, and a gorilla right back into the dirt. He is just dead. Secret picks up the kill with the ignite. Well, I was wrong, Papa Smithy. Yeah, you picked up Secret's Alistair last game. Could have find a dive right here. Hochin coming through. Here's the destiny. They are boxed in at the moment. There's a minion wave. Summer heal used very early, but nuclear and secret are going down. Tried to be answered by a ooh, nice, beautiful ultimate from Hecarim. But it's just not going to be enough. They pick up a kill, but that is a three. And the laning stats, the mana that comes from the Shin gives you is actually quite important as well. As up, oh, Kuro's in trouble. And there we go, bounce back, and the storm comes through. Are they going to finish it off? Ghost is there, and yes, they will. 
aware here of a possible flank attempt. This cannon is very dangerous, and here comes the TPs. Gravity Field already down sore. Going to be coming in right now, but look at Kennen on the back line already. Massive ultimate. Does see him dying. How well can Spano get out of this? They drop the Chaos Storm in the choke point. Here comes Twisted Fate right with the Gold Guard on to do it. Do it is down, and Secret targeted as the next victim. Double kill for Smebsnar. Great engage from Gorilla's Kennen. And he has to be careful, really careful. Speaking of careful. Hello, Stuart, just walking through a choke point right next to the cannon. Does drop one. Not going to get the second. And here we go. Smeb coming on through. The fight over the red buff is occurring. I think Hojin ended up with it in the end. Catch now finding himself stunned up after being maladed. Smeb actually gets launched forward. Whoa. There's the Gnar ultimate straight into a cannon. Ult, and that is just everyone dying. Whoa, four kills. Well, who's getting free time for some reason with this uh, inhibitor target? It's going to go down. Yep, nothing I mean, they can do. And there we go. Transform going to come on through. What can Smeb do in the back Ooh. line? There he goes. Starting to get those stuns down. Meanwhile, Gorilla will get knocked out with the explosive cast. Kuro has that Zonia's on right underneath that inhibitor. Secret has to run, though. There's a gold card, and a hop forward will mean. The uh, Hecarim goes down three for none on a very elementary team fight. Smep really managing his rage well. And Ku, look, you mentioned the fact they only have two days to practice for Naja. Make it two and a half because they're really finishing this series quickly. Yep. That's it. We had a 30 minute game in game one. Are they going to end at 25 here? Death timer still low. Eight seconds on to nuclear. Can he make it back in time? Catch eats a crit, and that's the ace. And now the turret. And the Nexus will fall in the end. Sub 25 minute game. And Najin finishes two in under an hour. And it might be a record for Ku to actually pick up the win.